Hello friends, let's see another problem which we can solve using all plus all is equal to all plus root is equal to all root. Okay, so let us consider two syllogisms. All parts are all parts are horses. Okay, and the second syllogism given is. All horses are plates. All horses are plates. And the given conclusions are the first one is some plates are some plates are parts. Some plates are parts. And the second conclusion given is all plates are all plates are parts all plates are parts okay so there are five options are given a if you have to select a if only conclusion 1 is true and b only the conclusion 2 is b i mean true c either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true d neither conclusion 1 neither conclusion 2 is true and E if both the conclusions are true if both the conclusions are true ok so here from the given two syllogisms so first one is started with all and the second syllogism is also started with all and the predicate of the first syllogism is equal to the subject of the second syllogism so by using this all plus all is equal to all rule so the conclusion is also going to be start with all and here we take the I mean we cancel horses and horses and then we take the subject from the first predicate that is all parts are and we take the predicate from the second syllogism that is plates that is plates so now check this conclusion is in the given conclusions are not so here all plates are parts are given here all parts are plates ok we got all plates are parts so here the subject and predicates are interchanged here so here the actual conclusion we got is all parts are plates from this rule so this is actually true but here these plates are parts are interchanged so from this actual conclusion if you interchange parts and plates all will become sum so from this we can derive sum all will become sum and here predicate will become subject sum plates or and the subject here will become predicate parts ok so from this if all parts are plates then some plates are parts but here he has given all plates are parts but actually we got some plates are parts so that's why the second conclusion is false so now we need to check the first conclusion is true or not right so when we interchanged we got some plates are parts so here we got some plates are parts so that means the conclusion one is true that means the conclusion one is true so here from these two conclusions only the conclusion one is true so that's why we have to select the option A. That's why we have to select the option A. So I hope you got this one. I will repeat once again. Here, if you see the both the syllogisms are starting with all, all. So that's why the result, I mean the conclusion we derive from these two syllogisms also going to be contained. I mean start with all. So here the predicate of the first syllogism is equal to the subject of the second syllogism. So we cancel both of them. And then we take the subject of the conclusion from the first syllogism. Okay, so that means we take the subject of the first syllogism as the subject of the conclusion, and then we take the predicate of the second syllogism as the predicate of the conclusion. So that means we got all parts are plates. But if you check this conclusion with already given conclusion, it is not matching with any one of them. So then. 
we derive some other conclusion from the already derived conclusion. Okay, so what we derive, all parts are planes. So that means if we interchange plates parts, then all will become sum. So that means some plates are parts. Some plates are parts. So it is exactly matching with the first one. So that means this is true. But here it is given all plates are parts. So it is not matching with these two conclusions. So that's why the second one is false. So only the first conclusion is true. So we have to select the option A. We have to select the option A. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.